Alrighty, <laughs> welcome to MTG Anonymous. So I just recorded a game, but it was horrible, so I stopped and I redid the deck. So we're gonna try this again. Uh, we're playing Copy Simic on MTG Arena. We're gonna be playing regular play. Actually, we'll play ranked and see how well it goes. Uh, the last time, I just couldn't draw into enough cards to make the deck worth it. So, but we're gonna go over everything right now. We have four copies of Opt for. There we go. For blue, you can scry one in the draw card. Really important because I need lands to get to Risen Reef. Gallus Dismissal for one in a blue. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand and a mass one. So this is good since I have a couple of proliferate things in this deck. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I took them out. So, <laughs> uh, so we just have a mass one. So that'll give us the token, the zombie token, so that way we can block early. Uh, season of growth, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. When you cast it, spell uh, targets a creature you control, draw a card. So that's important for uh, mirror image, for spark double and mirror image, and quasi duplicate. So since those target a spell we control, then we'll. Well, actually, no, this one doesn't end until it enters. So it'll just be quasi duplicate. Uh, apply Biomancy. Uh, choose one, target creature gets plus one, plus one, or choose one or both, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, or return target creature to its owner's hand, so we can do that to save a creature, uh, return Hydrocrasis so we can make it bigger, return Risen Reef so we can have it into the battlefield effects again, stuff like that. Hydrocrasis for X green and a blue, it's a Jellyfish Hydra Beast, when you cast a spell, gain half X life and draw half X cards round down each time. Flying Trample, Hydrocrasis enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Mirror Image, what we want to do with Mirror Image is we want to have it enter the battlefield as Risen Reef or, uh, well, yeah, actually Risen Reef or Overgrown Elemental is the one we want for that one. Uh, so, yeah, for three, it enters the battlefield, it's a copy of any creature it, we control. Overgrowth Elemental for two and a green. When Overgrowth Elemental enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on any on another target elemental you control, which would be Risen Reef or one of the copies. Whenever another creature dies, you gain. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life. If that creature was an elemental, put a plus one plus one on Overgrowth Elemental. Like simple. Risen Reef, everyone knows what that does by now. Eyes Everywhere, this is our Scry engine for 2 and a blue. At the beginning, for upkeep, Scry 1. And then for 5 and a blue, exchange, control of Eyes Everywhere, and target non land permanent. So, what we want to do with this one is we want to exchange it with something and then Callus dismissal it so it comes back to our hand. And so then we get to keep the thing. Quasi Duplicate, uh, for 1, a blue, and a blue, create a copy of a token. Create a token copy of a creature you control, which it would be uh, Risen Reef or Hydroid Crisis, but, well, not, excuse me, it'd either be Risen Reef, that's the only one we can, or Overgrowth Elemental. <sighs> Colossal Majesty, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw a card, Hydroid Crisis would be the only one that could trigger this, uh, since it's, or Palaka Worm. So, but getting it out early, it'll get uh, some of the enchantment destroyer cards out of the way, and so then I can keep some other stuff. Like eyes everywhere. Uh, cure, Behemoth, Beckoner for two and Simic. Whatever creature with four or greater in its battlefield, and you control, draw a card. So that's for Palaka Worm, and when we make copies of Palaka Worm. Uh, and. Uh, for minus one, untap a target permanent, and then that would be for our lands or for creatures that have attacked. Spark Double can either become a copy of Kiora or Nissa or Risen Reef or Elemental, Overgrowth Elemental. We can also use Block of Worm. That would be really good because it would be 8-8. Uh, but that's it. For three and a blue, you can create a copy of a Planeswalker or a creature. If it's a Planeswalker, it gets an extra loyalty. If it's a creature, it gets a plus one, plus one. Uh, slice in twain for two a green and a green. You can destroy a target artifact or enchantment. You can draw a card. It's in here for the draw card. And then for pacifisms, mostly the white spells that we can't deal with. Uh, Tatyova. Uh, when it lands on the battlefield and your control gain life, draw a card. So that combos with Risen Reef. If Risen Reef enters, drops a land, then Tatyova will gain us a life and draws another card. Next is Nissa, who shakes the world. Everyone knows what she does by now, so I'm not going over it. But what's important 
is that our forest tap for an additional mana, and then we might be able to get our minus eight off and then get up to seven forest out of our deck. So next is Palaka Worm for four green, a green and a green trample. When it enters the battlefield, you gain seven life, and when it dies, draw a card. So that's copy Simic. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna play ranked. Hopefully this. <laughs> Hopefully this does way better than it did when I was doing the testing video. Uh, I did the one change, so more than likely it will be better. Uh, we got four lands and an opt. So we got a turn two, a turn three play. Uh, and then we can scry one, so this is perfect. Uh, hopefully we can get something good out of that, out of that scry, hopefully. Uh, I would preferably need five lands, so if it's a land on top, I'll keep it. The next turn I play that land, I opt. Uh, so what we're, we're going to be trying to do is get as many, just get into our hand, our deck as low as possible because we need Anissa to come out and then once Anissa comes out then we are good but they're also playing Boros so we'll have that inner tapped play the opt uh, Callus Dismissal I'll keep that on top I already have five lands and so next turn if they play something then I can just return it to their hand and I'll have a blocker. So that's real important. If they don't play anything that I can return, then I'll just play Season of Growth. Uh, yeah, so we'll return that to their hand. And we'll opt on their turn, so that way we just keep the mana up so they think we have a counter spell. Uh, <coughs> and then with <coughs> with this opt, excuse me, with this opt, we hope we uh, we get something good. Preferably another callous dismissal would be amazing, but there's no telling. Uh, if we get Nissa in a situation like this, it would kind of be bad. Pass. I want to make sure they're not doing any funny stuff. Stop on their instep. Uh, I don't need a land in this situation. And I got a land. <laughs> so, there we go. There's a Nissa. So, next turn, I can drop her and then we'll be on our way. So play a forest. Play the season of growth. No attacks, obviously. Feather decks are real interesting, and so even if I lose this game, I would definitely still post this, because I love feathers. <laughs> uh... I just like to see how these, how everyone makes their decks. They probably have an interesting build. Uh, why are they looking at a 1-1? One, one? Oh, no. <laughs> Man. Well, I couldn't have blocked the flyer anyway. Uh, target from... So they're just doing that for the scry, it looks like. Because I also don't have black. So. I didn't look in... Okay, they put it on top. So it's going to come back at the end of their turn, which is kind of awesome. So then when I try to do something to them, then they can just protect it from that. It stinks for me, but it, it's pretty awesome. That's an interesting, interesting uh, play. So I can also use Spark Double to make a copy of Tat Yova, and then when lands enter, I can draw more cards, but Nissa is way more important at the moment, so we'll go for her first. 
would take three turns for Feather to kill it. So. If they kill my land, I'm going to be upset. So they can attack Nyssa. Uh, okay, so plus four. So it's going to take two turns to kill Nyssa. Unless they swing at me, which uh, I would actually do that. Because it looks like they're just built around having that feather out. But they have Circle of Protection, so I actually can't do anything. <laughs> I can't stop it, so... Protection from green. Well, I can't block it. Anyway, it's not a flyer. So, uh, if they swing, then I get to attack them for three again. So, it'd probably be better if they don't. But if they don't swing, then this is going to be stronger. So, I can't block it. Uh, if they have a shock, then that's bad for me. But if they don't, then that's good. Hopefully, they don't have a shock. They have a shock. <laughs> mono green. I mean, mono... Uh, any color. Shoot. I knew it was going to happen, but there's nothing I could do about it, so... Uh, what I can do is Tatyova. I could scry one... Quasi duplicate. So when I have spark double, I can quasi duplicate the spark double and then have it enter as Tad Yoba. So, well, actually, I don't know if it works like that because it enters the battlefield as a copy of that, which would be a copy of that. I need to look and see how that works because I would rather not make a copy and then make that copy and it enters as a zero zero. Let me look that up. See, no. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think it works as how I want it to, which stinks. But I just noticed I did I swing? I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't swing. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I couldn't have swung because I tapped it. Uh, when it attacks, you may cast converted mana cost spell with. Uh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Goodness. Uh, couldn't block that regardless, so whatever. Uh, their deck's pretty good. I think I might just actually play this, put this one uh, video in the game. Or this one game in the video, and that's it. It's pretty entertaining, actually. It's more entertaining than I thought it would be. Uh, those circle of protections, though. If I swing, it just protects itself, which isn't cool. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I only get four, and then uh, feather would kill it. So we'll spark double. There we go. Applied Biomancy. We want to keep that on top. Uh, Hydroid Crisis would enter as a 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> Next. Uh, we're going to swing with the Forest and Tatyoba. So. Because uh, they can't. Uh. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, unless they have another spell to give it another plus one. Gains indestructible and scry one, okay. I wasn't going to be able to kill it regardless, so. But now, since it just has trample, we can swing with two. It doesn't matter, you don't kill it. <coughs> man, oh man. This... <laughs> Feather decks, man. Those are... It seems so fun. I definitely want to play one. I think I have two copies of Feather. So I might... Oh. Well, that's bad. Well, they only got shocks in their graveyard, so. A better way to do that, to get those shocks back out of their graveyard, would be to swing and then cast the shock on their feather. Because then what happens is since they cast it, whenever you cast an insert or sorcery, you exile it. So instead of going into the graveyard, you exile it and then it goes back to your hand. It's a real interesting uh, trick. So, uh, I ain't blocking, because when that swings, they're going to use shock, and I don't want my stuff to die, so. So they can just shock me, or they can just hit me with the four. So they're going to hit me with six, so they're going to hit me with eight. So they're going to hit me ten, okay? Apply Biomancy is going to be real good for, for now because uh, they don't have any mana and that doesn't have haste. So, <laughs> so they're going to do 10. I'm going to pop the Feather away. So they do 12. So I can only do 10 damage. They did the shock to my face. And they have protection, so... Should I be, Can I block that? Yeah, I can. Okay. I thought I had protection from green. Oh, that's colorless. <laughs> yes! Oh, man. Uh, so... That kind of stinks that I can <laughs> I don't think I can copy... I'll try it anyway, just to see. But, uh... I'll try this. So we'll choose both. We'll give the plus one to you. Return that. Next, we'll play the island. Draw two cards. Maybe a spark double? Callous dismissal. Return that. Keep the op on top. Uh, I want to see if it, if it works, so I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, copy the spark double. It worked. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> oh man, I did not think that was going to work. So this makes this extremely fun. So they can play Feather and Aurelia again, and then that's all they can do. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, you can, so you can hit me with four? So you can hit me with six? Right? Yeah, six is all they can do. Block with the one. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> Good game. That was extremely fun. I did not expect that to be as fun as it was. So that's it for this video. I'm just going to play the one because this is already uh, almost at 20 minutes. And I still have some editing to do. So 
If you liked the, that one game, like and subscribe, please. That was entertaining. And we got 750 gold and 750 XP. That's how you close a video out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.